Hello and welcome to Race 07 on the Banter Gaming channel. Here with Rog. Hello. Yay. Um, this is a bit of a tester. Uh, it'll be done from Rog's perspective as he's uh, hosting the little race we're going to be having. Um, basically, we're looking to see if you guys are interested in us covering this at all. Uh, we have something something quite awesome, I feel, planned for if you, you guys agree with the existence of this game on the channel. It's a little bit more hardcore than what we usually put on. But uh, not too much so, I don't think. It's not uh, quite... Um, I don't know. Eye racing? Yeah, it's not quite as in-depth as that. It's like a... Um, it's, it's more of a sim than Forza, but less of a sim than eye racing. Yes, which is really weird. It's, it's like, like a, a semi faux sim. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's what it is, a semi faux sim. Semi faux. Uh, so, this is a, a race around uh, one of the few. One, well, I think it's the only uh, sim bin licensed imaginary circuits. Andy Prelout and Andy Prela Raceway. Yeah, I believe so. Very, very quick track. Uh, it's going to be a 22-car grid, including ourselves, with a load of 1987 WTCC racers. So we've got Alpha 75, Rolvo 240, BMW M3 30, and our personal favourites, the A86 in both 11 and 300 form. Yes. As you can see from the qualifying screen here, uh, most of the top eight is just, in fact, all but one of the top eight is the True Nose and Levins. There's just one yeah. BMW in seventh. But it's Adrian Jackson, so that's to be expected. Yeah, uh, ben Benson's qualified in sixth. Obviously, we sort of sandbagged a bit in the qualifying, so we thought it wouldn't be much of a good video if we just started from the front and won. So we sort and of. I accidentally put in a beastly lap chasing an alpha. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, I had the same problem. It would have been quicker, but he uh, he slowed down in front of me to go in the pits <laughs> and nearly <laughs> re-ended him. Ah. Um, but yeah, this this should uh, this should be quite an interesting. We haven't actually done a full race, I don't think. We did it. We? we did like two laps of Brands Hatch at some point. That's it. Yeah, yeah, we went to do another Brands Hatch, but it turned to rain without us realizing and yep. still on slick tires. Yeah, <laughs> we, we're still very new at this game. We're still yeah. playing with driving aids. A lot to, a lot to learn. A little bit about Race 07. It's um, obviously the sequel to Race 06, but the predecessor to uh, what was it, Race Room? Yeah. Um, uh, it's uh, it's the same thing basically as uh, GTR Evo, and that's predecessor GTR 2. There's loads and loads of expansions for it. Uh, we've got the free Andrew Prelo, Andy Prelo one that gives us this track and a couple of cars and uh, the other one we've got is the STCC Scandinavian Touring Car Championship that's what gave us the 240 yes very very modifiable um, it's not got a massive modern community so there aren't that many cars available um, a lot for the newer World Touring Car Championships the newest DLC for this was 2010 but there's mods for 2011 2012 and 13 is in progress. Yeah. There's, there's super touring car mods. There's, there's a whole lot out there if you're willing to look. Loads of tracks available as well. It's really, we're quite surprised, especially seeing as this game was only £2.50 on Steam. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's ridiculously good value considering that Lift for Speed is was £24 and isn't quite as good a sim as this, I feel. Yeah. I mean, this actually has real cars, and we're not going to include the RA, or or we're never going to include the Scirocco, because it's never <laughs> going to be in the game again. <laughs> it, it's <laughs> taken longer for the Scirocco to get into the game. In fact, no, it's not even in the game, still, than it has for Gran Turismo 5 to actually come out. And finish. <laughs> yeah. Also, Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> Honest to God, it's been so long. It's ridiculous. There's got to be a lot of pissed people who bought it saying, oh, Scirocco, that would be quite interesting to take around a proper sim <laughs> the, <laughs> for the whole of five <laughs> minutes till they took it away. Um, the the whole forum, or no, half the forum, is basically complaints about how slow the uh, development is. Yeah. 
I suppose we'll have a look at a couple of drivers um, who, are, who we'll be racing against. Yeah. Um, but in second, we've got Carlos Sainz, which I'm sure a lot of you will be aware of who that is, and that would be, uh, it'll be quite interesting to race against him. Below him in third, we've got KH Stewart, which I always pronounce wrong, but that's because... Fuck you. Um, <laughs> you could call him DK <laughs> like everyone else. Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? He's, he's the... Um, I was going to say self-proclaimed, but no, he was crowned by the world as being the Drift King. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of invented drifting as we know it. He pretty much wrote the Drift Bible. And he's also the, I suppose we'll put Takumi in first, second most known person for driving in the 86s. Yeah. He was in the JGTC in the NSX, was it? I believe uh, so. I think it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was an ISX all those years ago. Uh, so who else we got? Uh, Adrian Jackson, another well-known uh, BTCC and WTCC driver. Um, it's me, which is awesome. I uh, don't know a, for a few of these people, but they a lot of them will be before my time. There's Roger McCain there. Yep. If you ever wondered what Roger's last name is, that is his last name. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, yeah. It's going to be quite interesting to race against these people. I, I oh, just want to point out that the uh, the person who qualified last is the only Volvo. Yeah, from what I saw of it going around the qualifying laps, it was a bit of a bit of a pig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very drift happy. So... Yeah, we're, pro we're probably not going to see much of the Volvo in this. No, unfortunately. Okay, so we, shall we progress to the next screen so we can yes. set our car for the race? Yes. Have you got it set on variable weather? Or? I, I should have had it on fixed. Let's check. Uh, yeah, track dry. Good, good. This is actually the Andy Prillo circuit here. Yep. Very, very quick circuit. Which uh, is kind of unfair, really, as the Trunos, although not as quick in a straight line as the 7.5s, are very, very good through, through sweepers. So yeah, is this a good balance, though? Yeah, the 7.5s sort of let down by yeah. its drivetrain. Being front-wheel drive and all. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of stiffening up the spring slightly, but I don't know. I'm going to do my typical just lower the car and up the rear down. I can actually... Oh, my stuff's been saved already. That's cool. Yeah, same here. Uh, can I get a little bit of rear camber on the go? Yeah, I can. Good. Put that up to negative 4 degrees. Sounds like a lot, but it's set as uh, 3.5 naturally. So. Ah, so it is. Okay, so I'm uh, ready and waiting. Yep, I've up my wing to 4 degrees at the rear. Front is unadjustable. Right height is the very lowest it can be. Surrounded by eight sixes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I made the mistake of disabling tire wear and fuel usage, so I've just you know taken advantage of that by not you having any fuel in the car. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but it's it's not too much of a concern. Yeah, uh, mechanical failures should be turned on. Yes, they are. Which is a nice little feature. You not only can collisions cause issues with uh, your mechanic. Ooh. But uh, it can just randomly happen. And I had a false start. I went off. Oh god, you false started. Yeah. You've not bit. been black flagged, have you? Nah. Is that you? Okay, so I'm in second. In se oh, I found your twin then. I'm just surrounded by BMWs and Alfa Romeos. Oops, excuse I'm me. Part of a really, really big A6 sandwich. Ah. I was getting on that. <laughs> I'm behind the uh, HKS Live Read 1, which, As am I. <laughs> uh, if you want to identify it, it looks like a TRD Live Read 1 that, uh, that Roger's driving, but it's sort of silver and yeah. red, which a bit of blue. It's kind of cool. I'm actually driving while well, I was behind it. I sort of lost some ground. Oh, that Alfa Romeo hit me. <laughs> we have no idea if, we're go if the two of us are going to be able to complete 10 laps. We have a habit of binning it <laughs> for three laps <laughs> yeah. in. 
Oh, Ooh, we nearly got rear-ended by the Marlboro one. One of the Marlboro ones. Oh, oh whoa, I'm on the nearly. steering wheel. Oh, <laughs> this is a bit crazy up front. Yeah, a BMW trying to lock horns with the Alpha. I'm kind of stuck in 13th right now, though. Come on. 13? Yeah. Well, that's not too bad a position. I think, yeah, one away from points. And ah, I'm it's very out of rules, I think. So I'm in the points now. Uh, I'm pretty sure. I can't, can't remember. <laughs> I keep meaning to watch the BTCC ah. this season, but I just never manage. Yeah, I just sort of rear-ended the BMW and got Stolen. away with it. Oh, good. <laughs> oh. Solid second. I'm watching a BMW just tussle with the Marlboro Levin. This is, this is actually really, really close race, and this is amazing. It is. Could maybe turn their difficulty up a little bit. Probably could, yeah. Do ourselves a proper challenge, but we, we didn't want to do that with this first video um, in case we really did just bin it through. <laughs> like, not being yeah. up with them. It's, it's not as simple as saying, I'll put it on hard difficulty, because I know I'm competitive with them. The AI are very dependent on the cars and the tracks. So you you have to test the crap out of it to figure out which difficulty and even then they're usually slower in the races than they are yeah. in. Oh what the hell just gone on here? I just avoided getting caught up in a pileup I think. <laughs> one one of the A eight six, it didn't even have time to identify which one. Uh we just parked sizes on the track. And there was nice. an a alpha sort of waiting for it. <laughs> I'm in sixth oh. now, thanks for that. Good. Oh, ooh, ooh. This BMW is getting really, really squirrely on the braking. Uh, the, it might be the Marlboro 86. I saw him weaving behind me and he's not there anymore. Ah. So, uh, yeah. That's, that's the end of that chapter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you may not advertise cigarettes in here. No. In your car. That's now banned from all motorsports. Other brilliant little details in this game. Windshield wipers, you actually get dirt on your windshield. Yeah. Um, especially if you go off. Or if another car goes off beside you, it'll launch dirt across the track. You can turn your headlights on and off. Always nice. Yes. Adjust your brake bias on the fly. There's other stuff as well, I think. But so I've entered the 8 6 party. Sort of tagging on at the moment. Yeah, we're we're pulling away from that. <laughs> oh god, he's <laughs> birds pooed on my windshield. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Get off the dirt! Get off the dirt! Oh, I think I see you. Yeah, that's definitely you. Black Truno. Yeah, uh, sad. Or even not as blitz written down the side, but <laughs> is that you in my rear mirror? Should be. Fantastic! This bird poo won't come off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using a third person just because it's my third uh, view, and also it looks better on video. It certainly does. Uh, it's one of the main reasons why I don't usually do the. Um, the recording videos like this is because I'm very much the cockpit cam driver, uh, especially in simulations. Arcade games aren't too bad, but yeah. anything Forza or above. Look, I'm using an Xbox controller, so it feels like an arcade and it's not supposed to be. Yeah. I'd love a wheel, but price. I could actually buy a real steering wheel for that money. Yeah, I know. Although, a fan attack would be so awesome. Yeah. Ooh, upper position, I think. Yep. Is that my twin behind you? Uh, I said it's my twin. <laughs> yeah. Attack of the TRDs. Me and Mr. Dory Dory. So I'm stuck behind the Wed Sport one. Oh, no, got past him. 
bunch of like <laughs> we oh, everyone else just dropped behind. Oh <laughs> overtaking my twin. Oh Ooh. Come on, I've got past Westport now. If uh, any of you actually play Race 07 and are laughing at our lap times, we've played this for a day now, so... <laughs> <laughs> Yo. No idea which one of those two is you, so... <laughs> it's, it's the one that's close to Westport. That's hard to tell from a rear view mirror. <laughs> well, I'll, well, I'm in front now. Okay. Gotta really start pushing now, I guess. Yeah. Who's that in front? Is that a Marlboro? No, it's a still the HKS one. Ah. Uh. Marlboro one spun off or disappeared. Uh. Oh, I'm catching oh. you. I'm catching you. Yeah, I know. What the hell's up with this? I think Stop I'm drafting. <laughs> I need to back off though, so I don't want to get caught up in your braking. Just switch to another lane is what I do. Yeah. Oh, bonk. Whoops. <laughs> Move, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> get out the way. Bit of an overtaking train going on here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh god. <laughs> I was distracted. <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's still going, but I hate to think what the back of my car looks like. I was oh, just like. Nice big dent in the Dunlop <laughs> sticker. Yeah, I've got a bit of a dent now. I was just admiring the, uh, the Truno. I'm sort of stuck behind him now. Come on. I actually prefer 11 over a Truno. I prefer the back of the 11. But I'm, I'm a sucker for pop ups though. I, I prefer the solid lights over the flippy uppies. Don't get me wrong, I like flippy uppies, but I think the the car looks better with the solid lights. Yeah. They're both very handsome cars. Yes. I have to agree with you there. Oh, I lasted out of lap 5. Oh, bumpy Mr. Is it the stage chaos one, isn't it, in front of me? Uh, I assume so. Things are very small in the mirror. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. Every time on this corner. Oh, just let me buy. I'm coming in on the right hand side. Oh, Whoa. thank you. You just held him up for me. <laughs> Is that you in first now? Yep. <laughs> Son of a. Oh, I have made such a huge gap now, that's awesome. Yeah, just a bit. Winding up this uh, 20 valve 4 AG. You got awesome motor. The same motor that Takumi has in his 86 in Initial D. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, Kirch's own road going 86 has the same engine. Which is where initially you get the sounds from. Oh, I got a drift going. <laughs> I, I just caught that on camera as well. <laughs> Was it epic? <laughs> it, it looked like you'd lost control. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of smoke as well. <laughs> basically what it was. So. <laughs> well, I'm behind the wet sport one now. Ah. Well, I'll be happy with a podium finish. In this monumental race of races. I'm just happy I'm not, you know, crashed out upside down right now. Should we tell them what our our plan is? Yeah, go on. Awesome. So we're planning on running a full WTCC season uh, with the A7 year uh, first. We're going to make our own libraries for our cars and uh, see if we can take on the rest of the, the class, I guess, and kick their ass over an entire championship. Yeah, get some uh, banter gaming liveries done up. We're going to include the practice sessions and the qualifying. Yep. Uh, we'll probably do the practice and the qualifying on Saturdays, race on Sunday. Classic format. So it's, just like, it's a genius idea, I think, just <laughs> doing it like an actual like ITV race coverage. Indeed. We will probably be recording it from Roger's POV. Um, we'll see. We might do it sort of replay style. It's from how things go, really. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out which is better to work with. And I'll do it from there. This will give us a very good idea of that. Yeah. 
like this is you know talking while driving is pretty easy to do when there's no pressure. Oops, <laughs> almost lost it. But when you are under pressure, it's like uh, yeah. ah, oh, silence. It's rammed by the wet spot. Oh, <laughs> how lovely. Also, I think the uh, using the replays like gives more of a TV sort of feel, which is much more entertaining. Yeah, uh, we may even put our own uh, little BG. In in this game, this game is um, affiliated with Eurosport Television, which I don't know if you get that in America. That's uh, I have no idea actually. Um, so you get that little uh, little Eurosport logo in the top right. Probably. But thanks to the brilliant of brilliance of modding, we should be able to replace that with a BGC logo. Yep, the uh, good old headset. Which we said we'd replace, but we just... We can't think of anything there. Nah. Also, we haven't got the uh, art skills to really make anything better either. No, not really. I'm going a bit wide. Faster slap. I'm on 156 and fastest. 155, almost Ooh. dead. Very nice. Got to go a bit faster then. No, <laughs> go faster. I'm catching you. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sort of, you know, backing off and relaxing a bit. No pressure, sort of thing. Yeah, there's not much point in going flat out and buggering it up when you're in the lead by such a considerable margin. Yeah, I think I'm like two seconds ahead now. If the uh, thing was accurate. This is a. I'd say. For a you know semi-hardcore sim, it's actually really, really fun. Yes, with a lot of nice details. And the handling yeah. is that, like it, it's challenging but consistent as well, which is the main thing I love. Yeah, it's not just going to randomly throw you off. Yeah. If it does throw you off, it's because it's been trying to the entire race, and that's how the car is set up. Yeah. Oh, there you are. These A860 just handle so great, though. They do. They. We we tried the um, some of the other classes, and we are very spoiled by these cars. Yeah. They, they're just so grippy. Like with the actual WTCC cars, uh, we understeer a lot in them because we're just so used to the neutral handling rear wheel drive chassis. Superior rear wheel drive chassis. Yes. But then we tried out some Camaros, and we might as well have been playing a drift game. Yeah. That's all we end up doing. Too much power, too much weight as well. Just yeah. Alright. Lap 8. Mm-hmm. Keep making a mistake living in a, a high gear, but I don't want to shift yeah. down and lose a bit of time there. Your front stone's all over the front of my car. Is that? You're chipping my paintwork, man. Oh my god. <laughs> I can hear it. I'm <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> click, click. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That is an awesome detail, though, to have in the game. Yes, it is. Quite. Ooh, there you are. Like, this game isn't Project Cars in terms of, like, graphics, but. For what graphics there are, it's so detailed. Yes. Yeah, like it's mostly through just really trick texture work. It's apparently all the windows are paintable. Yeah, they are indeed. So you can just paint them straight over if you want to. Or add details like the heating element on the rear window. Or your name on the side. Which is something we shall certainly be doing. Ooh, shit. Yeah. Should we R. McCain not be confused with the guy from Toka Race Driver 1? <laughs> <laughs> Which is where I took the name from. <laughs> I thought it would be quite fitting. It's not actually Roger's last name. <laughs> no. I just don't want to sort of, you know, get all the Facebook quests right now. Well, they have to figure out where you live for a start. Although, saying that, sure. how many are. Well, I don't know. The name isn't that unpopular. <laughs> I have a fairly unique name. We already know there's uh, one YouTuber with the same name as me. Yeah. Which <laughs> I found quite funny. <laughs> it was pretty humorous. <laughs> Imposter! Also, <laughs> <laughs> uh. if you type in uh, Rog Plays, there's this, I think he's Polish, and he's called Rojo, Rojo Tech or something. Yep. I'm, um. 
I'm like halfway down because of George Benson, the musician. Ah. Benson plays this at a club somewhere. <laughs> oh. oh shit. shit. Oh yeah, I'm I just... out. Oh, yeah, I sort of just <sighs> followed you. Come on, can still do this. <laughs> I was so lucky. I I hit an invisible wall. It sort of flicked me into a 360, and I just landed it on the road. Uh, I knew this was going to happen at some point. Yeah. Second to last lap as well, so pushing hard now. Uh, Managed I to build up enough speed just before the pack arrives to stay with it. Ah, uh, I haven't got any suspension damage. I think I'm didn't get a message, and I'm still. You know, handling's pretty good, so... I think I got away with that. That's not tyre wear, that's my own, like, fatigue. Fatigue? Yeah. Like, this has been quite a long race, and... And we're using uh, 360 pads, and... I don't know if you like, play, like, an endurance race on an Xbox or anything, but... <laughs> You start to get a bit tired after a few while. Yeah. So I'm trying to stay ahead of you for a whole lap now. A whole lap in a bit. I wish you the best of luck. Why, well, thank you, good sir. Oh, 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 that's the pits. That's the pits. Oh, God, that is the pits. <laughs> Just blast through it, there's no black flag. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. No, oh, no, 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 cancel. God damn it. <laughs> no. Um. <laughs> oh, can I just make it out of the pits? Come on, yes. <laughs> well, I'm down to 10th. Why am I pit? I'm no, stop trying to drive into the pits. Bad. Bad AI. <laughs> oh, that ass ruined me. Let's try and not do that in the championship. <laughs> uh, well, that was, that was just pure understeer. I was thinking, if I just back off and steer to the left, I'll be alright. No, there's the centre divider. If I have a pit or just be disqualified having a trashed car. I got that sort of tunnel vision uh, where I was following the car in front, which was you. Yeah. <laughs> so Typical eight racing. Eight places in a lap. Mm. I'm I'm fourteenth. Like I'm practically where I started now. <laughs> no change. I'm down two places. <laughs> well, hopefully it's been entertaining for the viewers. <laughs> yeah, well they got a little <laughs> bit of something. Nearly spectacularly bad. <laughs> Right, I'm going to overtake you, Mr. BMW. What, you're referring to me? I was like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not that. It's my twin behind you if he's behind you. I'm following a beamer now. Come on, I'm fasting you through the corners, just let me through. There might be a beamer off track. Oh, he's cutting me up like a typical BMW driver. Just. <laughs> freaking bugger. Zack speed BMW, just bugger off, please. He's taking the piss because I used to be in front of him. I managed to get fifth. I'm probably at thirteenth. Oh, almost went to the pits again. <laughs> it's getting horrible understeer through that corner. Well, that was certainly something. <laughs> yeah. Nothing that. Um, yeah. And there's more of that to come, if you like the <laughs> video. Yeah. Um, to be honest, I will probably do it off screen anyway, if you, if yeah. you think that's not nice to record it, because it's certainly fun. This isn't like your typical boring, like, follow the leader sort of sim. It's really quite entertaining. Yeah. And they, I have their own little uh, quirks that can be quite interesting as well. Yeah. So I've got a uh, in twentieth H Ackerman. No, he was driving. There's still two cars to come, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. Guards. 
Uh, B. Aubergine. Aubergine, yes. I'm assuming 22nd will be the Volvo. Uh. The thing's disappeared now. But I'm guessing so. So the winner was K. Okuyama in the Tom's Truno with an average speed of 99.4 miles an hour. I feel I was probably quicker. <laughs> you might have been, but it's not giving you anything. Uh, all right. There we are. <laughs> I got I got no pawn. <laughs> Four points. Congratulations. Ah, oh, my twin came second. Um, as my average speed was no, it was actually. Well, I suppose it would have to be slower, technically speaking, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, mine was ninety-eight. Um, in each sector, though. I had the quickest, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Every single sector. You got, you're got you equal with Alcott Otway. Yeah. <laughs> How did we get exactly the same time? <laughs> Plus all fours as well. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> it says something. In the second sector, you were indeed the fastest. But yeah, in this, yeah, I'm pretty sure you got the best lap overall. Awesome. And then I bogged it all up. <laughs> yep. In typical yep. banter gaming fashion. Absolutely. It wouldn't be banter gaming without a fail. Exactly. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave us some feedback. It'd be greatly appreciated. As always. And uh, good to know what you think. We, 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 uh, we do enjoy you know, reading feedback, and we do reply, so... Certainly do. Feel free to leave a message. Yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later. See ya.